in this session we are going to understand a very important option that is tags so cucumber tags is a very important topic and we are going to do a separate session on this so we'll understand this in detail in that particular session but over here let's just understand what is this let's just get a brief overview of how tags work how this tags option work okay so let's go to a feature file and add a tag so it's something like at the red sign and any custom name that we provide like very similar to groups in test ng but even if you don't know what are the groups in test ng over here tags are like you associate scenarios of one type to a specific tag and when you run that particular tag all the scenarios which are associated to that particular tag gets executed so let's say i create a tag something like p1 and i add this p1 tag to other scenarios as well let's assume that we have a bunch of feature files over here and a bunch of scenarios in those feature file and i add this add the rate p1 tag to those scenarios also let's add something else over here let's say p24 something like this to this particular scenario so this is completely custom we can give any name and the significance is we can specify what tag or what tags to execute so when we run this test runner it will execute only hey guys if you like these videos you may also like my fully fledged courses on java selenium and cucumber bdd links are given in the description so do check out only that tag or only those tags which we are specifying over here and in turn it means it will execute only those scenarios which are associated to the specific tag or specific tags which we are providing over here this is very important in terms of picking and choosing those scenarios which we want to execute as part of my current test so let's say i want to execute only this particular scenario so i am going to pick this tag p1 and specify it over here so now what it is going to do it is going to pick only the scenarios which are associated with this p1 tag so when we run this file we can see it has picked only this scenario it has ignored this one because it is not associated to p1 tag can a scenario have multiple tags yes it can and there are a lot of things how we can add multiple tags over here how we can use ending operation or oring operation over here we'll see it in a separate session that we are going to do in the future okay for now let's just understand that to run a specific scenario or set of scenarios which are associated to a certain tags we use this tags option as simple as that 